All right, everyone, Cody here. So as you may know, growing algae is attractive because algae produces loads of awesome goodies such as protein, oils, and oxygen. All while using light efficiently to do that. But I noticed the problem of using artificial light to grow algae. You're, especially if you're using solar panels to produce the electricity to run the lights, you're losing efficiency at each step. By the time you get to the algae, you've wasted most of the energy that you collected. So it makes much more sense to expose the algae to the sunlight directly. However, if you are in a cold climate, such as my backyard, or on the moon, or Mars, at night, things tend to freeze. The algae will have their cells ruptured, killing the algae, and the algae panels itself can be damaged by the expanding water. You could solve this by adding lots of insulation or heaters, but again, that is losing efficiency and adding mass and complexity to the system. My solution is the same as the solution that a farmer has with his cows bring them home at night. So this prototype algae panel is currently operating. The water is being pumped through along with the algae through the panel. It could be exposed to sunlight and photosynthesizing. But now nighttime is coming. It's going to freeze. Well, I can unplug this brine pump here or have a, an automatic switch do that. The brine level drops and this allows air to travel through this chamber and the water level in here will now increase because the air is no longer pushing the water out and as that happens the level inside the panels is dropping the algae is going from the panel into this tank here it's coming home for night now on the full-sized version this is insulated. I'm actually using a cooler so that it won't freeze when it gets cold. But now you'll notice the air pump is still running. It's still stirring the algae. It's still giving it oxygen. And if this was connected to a habitat, it would still be scrubbing CO2 from the air because algae, especially those that grow in an alkaline environment, don't need light to take CO2 out of the atmosphere. But light is needed to regenerate the scrubbing system that this is. So now, night time's over. Uh, it's starting to warm back up. I'll have a switch come on and push brine back into this chamber, stopping the air from flowing. And now the water level here will run down and fill the panels once again. Now, you may notice that I'm using brine. Now, why would I be using brine over here? Well, brine is, it won't freeze. It's an antifreeze and it's a non-toxic. Now on the full version, this actually goes through a stainless steel coil inside of the algae tank and that will absorb heat from the algae. And then it'll go into a radiator and a fan to expel the algae into the atmosphere or out into space. This is because when this is operating, the sunlight is shining on the algae the heat that is produced by the sun could eventually cook the algae alive. So this gets rid of the heat. And why am I not using a pump to move the algae directly? Well, on previous versions, I found that the pump's impeller is very violent and it breaks the algae cells, killing the algae and it's fine for small transfers, like if you're running the algae from one tank to another, it's fine. The, the amount of death is very small. But if you're running it constantly, all day long, the dead algae accumulates. It attracts other microorganisms, and it starts to rot. It makes a big mess, and it smells very bad. So I'm using the air to actually pump the algae along. The air is much more gentle than an impeller. This can run all day without killing very much, if any, of the algae. So uh, I propose that this would be a good method to use on off-world habitats to produce algae for 
food calories and oxygen scrubbing. At some point I'd like to have half an acre of these panels producing chicken feed.